it's interesting for people who don't know professional golf, and I mean, there's a lot of people would be surprised at the depth of information that you two process out on the golf course. Huge amount, you know, where we want to hit it, how far things are, how far to the front, how far the pin is from the back edge. All right, well, here we are. Here we are. your job, tell him what to okay, do. Okay, we've got, um, I mean, what's really important is the front yardage for a professional because, you know, when you're playing these tournaments, the greens tend to be firm, so you, you may just have to land it five yards on and it releases back to the pin. So we've got 152 to the front, 168 to the pin. So Luke and I will actually talk about where we want to actually land the ball because obviously um, 168, you probably want to land it probably eight yards short, 160. A bit. good solid eight, it will leave me just a little short. Yeah, perfect. No, no chance of going over with this club. What's your final, final thought? thought? is just to see the shot. Are you ready? Get up and then hit it. Mm. A good kick. Did seem to hold in the wind a bit and get kicked that way, so. Now, in a real tournament, you're not happy at this point. You've missed the green, you can't be happy. What happens next? Do you sort of hope that you well, get quickly in a good mood, or do you get I try, in a good you know, mood? I try, try and, if you, you can, if you see him sort of get down his chin up, you try and sort of keep him, you know, trying to get his attention off that shot and then onto the next yeah. one. So I'll say something like, um, you know, keep your focus going forward, or um, come on, that's the next shot. So just really, you know, Luke also has a, a five second rule where once he's hit a shot, he tries to, after five seconds, you know, it's finished the, and, and then it's on to the next one. Be as positive as possible. Yeah. I think I've left me five seconds behind <laughs> there so we get on with the next one. You know, sometimes it's good just to look into the crowd and look at people and try to get your mind off it that way and just have something completely different. But um, oh, it's very tough, you know, this is a very mental go game and you know, even if you're in a, a bad couple hole, you just had a couple of bogeys, it's hard to not think about it and stew over it. It's hard to put it behind you and, and go to the next one. One practice stroke looking at the hole. And then I go to the ball, I take one more look, and then I kind of go. Just sort of bobbled and moved. Just bobbled around a little bit. left, but I actually hit that putt where I wanted to, and you know, if you do, if you hit the putts where you want to and they don't go in, there's not much you can do about that. Yeah, about that. And on to the next hole. On to the next hole. <laughs> Chris and I started golfing together when I was eight, he was 14. So, you know, for about 12, 13 years, you know, we played together and right. he, he knew my game better than anyone. At that time, he was a head pro at Harleyford, uh, a club not too far from here, and decided to give that all up to, to risk the chance of uh, <laughs> maybe losing all his money when putting his money in w with me. But uh, no, it's worked out very well. It was tough because I, you know, went over there and I, and I gave up my job and, and Luke hadn't actually even gone through tour school. So, you know, we could have been stranded together. Uh, but it worked out well. He got through three stages of tour school, and um, and that was it. Uh, but you know, it, it hasn't been plain sailing. We've, uh, you know, the first two or three months, we we lived together, roomed together, uh, and we nearly killed each other for those three <laughs> months. And uh, the secret was me getting to know other caddies and, and then rooming with them and just giving Luke his his time. One of his nicknames is asbestos because they, they say on tour because he's fireproof. Right. But um, no, it's, it's worked out very well. Obviously, we get along very well. If, if we didn't, it wouldn't have worked out. But uh, so far, so good, and we'll see where it takes us. You've been told by yep. Caddy here that you're going to hit driver and leave yourself uh, a wedge in. Yep, going to take this hole on a little bit. That's as good as it looks, that's perfect. No, we'll go find that one. <laughs> In the middle of the fairway, it. you should get that one. Seventy-two. Two? Seventy-two to the pin. Like concrete. 
Shut up. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, it'd be tough to play. Harder than Three. a tour event. Harder than a tour That's event. That's right. Right, let's finish with a birdie. Up the hill, that's all right. Three. Nice way to finish. Always makes dinner taste a little nicer.